Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and tonight I'm taking a look at customizing the MX desktop. But now I'm going to show you the settings app. The settings control panel is the place to go for all your other appearance related tweaks, all your customization tweaks. And for instance, the appearance tab. The appearance tab gives you your choice of desktop themes. Now our default theme is Raleigh, or Raleigh as you might say. And there's a variety of themes installed. Some are very nice. Some of them are just okay. Uh, you know, if you want to go purple with one of these, I think one of these things is purple. Um, I don't know which one. I forget now. But uh, there's all sorts of different themes. Most of them are are pretty basic uh, XFCE themes. However, the Mediterranean themes are quite nice. You get some different dark font, dark themes. If you're into dark themes, I, I suggest check out the Mediterranean tribute themes. They're pretty nice, uh, and they they tend to come through the system pretty well. Uh, I've I've been told that their videos don't look quite so good when I record with a dark desktop, so I'm gonna go back to something a little brighter. We'll go with Mediterranean White Knight for now. The Icons tab gives you a choice, an ability to select different icon sets by default. So you got GNOME, and you can see the icons changing a little bit. High contrast inverted high contrast, a low contrast icon set, and the default tango. There are other icon sets available and you'll be able to install those and they will show up in this icon tab. Fonts, again, for changing the default fonts of, of the various things in your system, uh, the various um, XFCE windows. And settings, got some different settings here for changing how things appear on XFCE toolbars. Okay, the desktop tab is a one. There's a couple ways to get to the desktop app. You can either click on desktop in the settings tool, toolbox here, or you can right click on the desktop and come down the desktop settings. You're going to get the app the same both ways. And you're going to see you got you got a place to select backgrounds, although there's only a couple of backgrounds available in there. You can select a color for your desktop instead if you decide not to have uh, uh, an image. You can change the brightness of the image to make it uh, a little brighter, a little a little darker. The color saturation, a couple little tweaks here. You can set it to center tile, stretch, scaled, whatever you like. You can select a different wallpaper. This wallpaper is kind of the generic one that comes with uh, XFCE. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this for a minute so you can see it. It's kind of a generic wallpaper. I'm going to go back to turbulence for now. Now there is one little clerk with the background chooser here. If you choose a different background and come back to it later, turbulence may not show up. It, it's a weird, we're working that out. The MX folks are working that out. But you can navigate back to the, the, the wallpaper by clicking, uh, you can go to any folder where you might have an image you want to use as wallpaper by clicking on this button here, this plus button, and navigating your file system to wherever uh, the file stored. Now in the case of the MX wallpapers, they are in user local, share, backgrounds, and you see we have two, Turbulence and Turbulence Light. They're both rather nice. I'm going to go with the Turbulence Light image. Yeah, not too shabby. So we'll go back to Desktop Settings and show you the menu. The menu list here gives you an option to have the Applications menu on the right click, and this is not going to be the Whisker menu. This is going to be the standard XFCE uh, applications menu. So you get the kind of the best of both worlds that way. You get you get the standard menu here and you get the whisker menu on the on the panel by default. You also middle clicking if you have a mouse wheel, middle clicking on the desktop will give you a workspace list with open apps. Pretty nice. And some options here for showing icons on the menu. Now this, the desktop icons is kind of an interesting feature. Uh, by default we don't show any icons on the desktop. You can show your home folder, you can show your file system, you can show your trash can if you want to. You can show all your removal devices. Although, the removal devices, and this seems to be a, a bug in a lot of XFCE distributions, clicking removal devices shows all my internal partitions too, and I do not want that on my desktop. So, I got rid of that. I don't actually don't like anything on my desktop, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click everything gone except for the home folder. Now, one thing that's cool though, is you can change this so that instead of showing file or launcher icons, or just being another desktop folder, you can have it show minimized applications. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to click open Chromium BSU here, and when I sh minimize it, it minimizes to the desktop. 
it's kind of interesting. And if you've ever used a Rocks pin board or even some of the early Macintosh stuff, they kind of did this for for a while. So I don't know. It, it's a different way of using the desktop, and it's kind of compelling. Uh, I don't know if um, if it's for everybody, but it, it's the options there for you. Uh, also, if you don't like, I'm gonna change it back to file icons. Right now, everything's set to single click. But if you don't like single clicking, heck, uncheck this box right here, and now you have to double click, and works pretty well. That carries through the file manager and all the other interface elements. There's some neat. Let me go back to the settings app here. We're gonna go into Window Manager. There's some neat setting features here. Here you get a kind of an independent font, an independent theme style for your windows. You can override the appearance tab here. Um, this is a little strange for me. I'm still working out exactly how this works, but play around with it. You can you can change the windows without changing everything. And it, it, I'm not exactly sure why there's two themes choosers, but there is. Uh, you, you can see some uh, and set up some keyboard shortcuts here, uh, some different focus models depending on how you use your mouse and how windows come alive are available on the focus tab. And you get some advanced options, but one of the advanced options is pretty cool. And that is this wrap workspace is dragging off the screen. Now this won't work while I'm uh, recording video. But usually, when you take a, a file window or a app window and move it to the edge of the screen, it will warp onto another workspace. Now I can't show that because the the screen recorder app I'm using locks the desktop, so I can't change workspaces uh, uh, while I'm recording, or at least I can't use the cool screen wrapping feature. But there's a feature I want to show. If you turn this off, you get a pretty neat feature that some might be. Uh, familiar to some of you Windows 7 users or even some of you GNOME or KDE users, you get some window snapping features. So if I drag this over to the side, now it snaps, it goes to half the page. This is great. I actually like this better than the workspace wrapping because I do this a lot. Throw throw a file folder up that side, takes up half the screen. Throw a file over to this side, throws up half the screen. That's pretty nice for uh, two. You know, it isn't a two pane file manager, but it'll do in a pinch. I kind of like the feature, I and mean, when you pull it away from the window, it snaps back down. Now, the only weird thing is snapping to the top and the bottom don't act like they do in Windows 7. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. What they do is they tile half the screen vertically. That's a little more weird to me. I would rather see that maximized, but that's an issue for upstream XFCE. Uh, <clears throat> if anybody finds a way to do that, uh, drop me a comment in the in the post. I'll make sure it gets added added to the documentation. So that's a pretty cool feature. I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, in Window Manager Tweaks, there's one separate app. There's some esoteric features in here. I'll let you raise them. This is going to be more for your advanced users to, to look at once you're beyond just regular, regular tweaks. But there is one part here, the compositor. This is what you want to enable to enable your transparency effect. So if you enable compositing, you can set, like for instance, the panel. Now we'll have opacity, and you can shrink. You can make it. You can make it transparent. You can play around with the features. I didn't do a very good job there with with that just now, but. Uh, I'm sure you could have some fun with it, setting your uh, compositing features. Get you a little bit of 3D effect action. Now I mentioned wallpapers. I showed you one way. Oh, I wanted to also show you one more feature in the settings app for customization. Uh, there, are, there are others. There's screen savers and workspaces. You can check those out. There's some timings and notifications. You can, that's fine. But one of the uh, nice items that you might want to check out is the keyboard app. Now the keyboard app does things like your little keyboard layouts and these are all boring features that you can read. It's self-explanatory. One of the cool features though is setting up a new uh, application uh, launcher shortcut, I guess you can call it. And one of the things I like to do right away, as soon as I get out of the box, is set up uh, a my Windows key or the super key on the left of your keyboard. That's a little keyboard with a little Microsoft symbol on it usually. Um, 
I guess if you have a System76 keyboard, I think it comes with a Ubuntu key, but it's the same key. Uh, I like to map that to my whisker menu so I get one touch access to the whisker menu because then I can, without touching the mouse, I can tap, type a few letters, and generally get any app I want. So I'm going to click Add because it's not on the list. I'm going to click Open, and it's going to take you to the default area for, for commands. It's going to take a second to open because there's a lot of them in there. And if you just do a quick little search here, XFCE, you're going to get the XFCE for pop-up whisker menu. Click Open. Now it's in there. You're going to click OK, and it's going to ask you for the key. Just touch the Super L key. Touch and let go, and you're done. Now when I touch Super L, I get the whisker menu. And as I said, just typing a few letters gets you what you're looking for. If you've ever used a keyboard launcher like uh, Launchy or... Um, or oh gosh, uh, Synapse or something like that it works. It all, or even the Windows 7 menu, it works very similar. We just tap the key, bam, you're you're good to go. Now the wallpapers, the wallpaper chooser thing in the desktop settings is a little inconvenient if you have your own folder full of wallpapers. And I do. I have my own folder full of wallpapers, conveniently called wallpaper. And most of these are are wallpapers from from Antics distribution or things I've collected over the years. And the the the, the way you want to, if you want to take one of these and turn it into a, a wallpaper for your desktop, it was really easy. All you need to do is right click, and click Set as Wallpaper. And there it is, easy peasy, done deal. But what if you want to select a whole bunch of wallpapers? Well. You go to desktop settings, click on the wallpaper app, when you click on this button here, you navigate to your wallpaper folder and select them all. Do control A, select them all. Click add. Or you can go through one at a time. You get a preview over on the right hand side. Right here's preview. Or you can select them all, click add, and they're all going to show up in the in the in the menu, but only until you actually pick one and come back. It, it's very annoying. I hope to have a tweak up later um, that that will allow you to map a wallpaper folder to this menu so it shows up all the time. Uh, still working out some kinks in that. Uh, I got something that works, but I'm trying to write a tutorial that makes sense to people with the default tools we have available. So. Now this wallpaper isn't isn't available by default, as I said, and like I said, now that I've picked one, it's not going to be available. See, it's gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate back to Turbulence Light. Now the nice thing is with XFCE is you get the recently used item, so anything you've used recently is going to pop up here. So Turbulence Light, I don't have to go find it again. It's there. And that's it. A lot of this info I just went over is available in the Quick Start MX Quick Start Guide. Available two ways. If you've uh, been to the MX website, you'll see a link for MX Docs. That'll take you to the Quick Start Guide. Uh, by default, Cupzilla here is set up so that the Quick Start is the very first thing that opens when you crack it up the open the first time. If you've navigated away and it's not open anymore, uh, that's fine. It's also available in the Whisker menu. Just search for Help, and you're going to get the orientation information, and it's going to be right there for you as well. And as always, as always, you've got the Mepis community backing you up, and the folks at both Mepis and, and at the Mepis community and at the Annex community uh, there to help you out. Uh, there's a whole mess of us monitoring the boards, ready to pitch in if you have any questions. <clears throat> so, for helps in the docs and all the cool features and the latest news, head over to mepiscommunity.org/mx. Join us in the forums at forum.mepiscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.